Hi everyone, this is Brad. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at possibly your stream being overtaken by your classwork. We're going to take a look also at how you can go ahead and still keep your classwork from a previous week, but make things look a little bit more organized. We're also going to take a look at Google Meet and Team Drive. So the first one here, you can see how this is being overtaken. The stream is being overtaken by classwork. In order to change that, what you can do is go into the settings gear and come over and just select classwork on the stream to hide notifications. Just communicate with your students that this is going to be an area for you to communicate with them and they should always check their classwork and they can see what is upcoming right over here. Now, speaking of classwork, if you would like to, what you could do, if you want to keep your assignments, um, but you want to keep things nice and clean, go ahead and create a new topic and call it the previous week's learning. So if I said week four learning, I could go ahead, put that in here, and then I can still drag the previous week's learning right up into week four learning. And then it's still available for the students to find but it's not going to be in math anymore. They would just have to go ahead into week four learning. So that's a uh, just a little tip there. Now, another one is Google Meet. So if you don't know already, Google Meet is built into Google Classroom now. And you can see the code is right here. If you'd like to learn more, you can certainly learn more here. In the, my blog post, there's a great tutorial by Eric Kurtz. Take a look at that one. He's very detailed. Uh, in this one here, though, what we're going to do is, if you ever need to reset your... Uh, Google Meet, you can go ahead and reset that right there. It's nice also, you can make it visible to students. Just select save. And then when you're ready, um, what I would recommend is say, if you're starting at 11 o'clock, go in, then make that active for students to find. Then go ahead in, say a couple minutes before, and then students can see, they can click on it and go in. One thing to point out though, is when you are in, make sure that you are the last one to leave. Um, and then also go back. It stays active for about 45 seconds afterwards. So if you leave and a student leaves and a student goes back and clicks on this, they have about a 45 second window. They could go back in and invite other students. So I'd also recommend to go back in and then kind of rehide this right here. Um, just one of those things. I just did it uh, the other day and it stayed open for about 45 seconds. The last one I wanted to point out is in a team drive, depending on what type of permissions you have in a team drive. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend making a copy right in here because it may just make a copy built into the team drive. So make sure to open up the file and then go ahead and select file, make a copy, and then you can choose what folder you would like that to be in. So of course you could go back and choose your specific drive and go from there. So just make sure to do that in a team drive. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care.